almost everyone's had a dream where they take flight and soar through the sky like a bird. And then you wake up and you're left lying in your bed wishing it was all real. Well, you can stop wishing because with modern technology, being able to fly is more possible than ever. And you can even look pretty cool doing it. And no, we don't mean airplanes. Come on, we've got your back at the hub. Here are the coolest machines that make you fly. Before you blast off, click to subscribe to our channel and turn on the alerts. You'll be turning heads in the sky in no time. Flyboard. We're gonna start the list off with a cool machine that will impress, but won't be too dangerous. If you're afraid of falling out of the sky and hitting the ground with a thud, then the flyboard is definitely for you. Why? Because this flying machine only works over the water, making any chance of serious injury minimized. So don't call the hospital just yet. The flyboard is pretty awesome because the engines are attached to your feet and you can control and steer with your hands. Imagine the looks on people's faces on the beach when you fly by on this machine. Water is getting shot out in every direction. That means if there's somebody on the beach you don't like, you can splash them as you fly by. Your hands and feet are providing the propulsion, allowing you to fly around over water any way you want. You can even do some pretty cool stunts while you're at it. Anybody watching will think that a real life Iron Man has come to visit. The price is a lot cheaper than others on our list too, only around $5,000. M400 Skycar. Imagine dedicating 50 years of your life to your dream and never being taken seriously. That was the case with inventor Dr. Paul Mahler, for years that is, until his dream became real. The doctor faced incredible challenges throughout his life, including harsh criticism and financial issues. But he kept fighting until he was able to create his own sky car. His idea came to fruition, and the M400 sky car is able to do a lot of cool stuff. For starters, it can hold up to four people. No other machine on this list can say the same. So if you want to have a party in the sky, the M400 is for you. The sky car also claims to be the world's first VTOL, which stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing. So much like a helicopter goes straight up, so too does the M400. And it's actually so popular that it's appeared on 60 Minutes, ABC, Bloomberg, CNN, and the Discovery Channel. The sky car can run for almost six hours, so you won't have to worry about crashing while taking in the sights from above. Dr. Mahler's invention proves that when you have a dream and want it bad enough, anything is possible, including creating a really cool flying machine. Hoverbike. The next machine on our list looks like something out of a Star Wars movie. Based in London, the company behind this machine has been working on it for years. It's called the Hoverbike, and it is cooler than any bike we've ever seen. It can lift up to 300 pounds, so for some people, you might be able to take a friend with you when you ride it. This Hoverbike is for real. So much so that the United States Army Research Lab actually has a development contract with them. Another cool thing about this machine is that you need very little training to use it. It's almost as simple as hopping on and taking off. The one small problem with the hoverbike is that it hasn't been completely developed yet, which means currently it can only travel about 3 feet above the ground, and it's also not yet available for purchase. This is definitely bad news, but at least it gives us something to look forward to. Be sure and look for awesome hoverbikes zooming down the streets in the future. The creator expects them to be able to go up to 173 miles per hour. Terrafugia Flying Car The future is now. Not only is the idea of a flying car possible, it's actually currently being used. Although the Terrafugia Flying Car doesn't hover like a lot of us imagined, it's able to seamlessly transition between being a car and an airplane. The only problem with that is you have to have a pilot's license to drive it, and a driver's license too. So maybe you can't fly the thing, but you can definitely be a passenger. Just think, you can be driving down the road, running late, and see a traffic jam up ahead. Instead of getting stuck and ruining your day, you can change the car into a plane and take off into the sky. The drivers in the other cars would freak out more than they ever have in their lives. And what's really cool is that the public will be able to purchase this flying car as early as 2019. One day, they even hope to mass market a flying car that has a vertical takeoff. They hope that one day their invention will be the standard in travel. If everybody is in a flying car, we can see the issues with crashing into each other. So if you buy one, make sure you stay safe. The Kitty Hawk Flyer. If you're gonna trust your life to a flying machine manufacturer, then Google is a pretty good choice, right? The co-founder of the company, Larry Page, has created what he says makes the dream of personal flight a reality. This flying machine doesn't look like a flying car. It looks more like a huge drone that you can ride like a cowboy. And before you hop on your trusty steed, there's some good news you should probably know about. The Kitty Hawk Flyer is totally legal to use in the United States. The only issue is that you can only fly it over water in areas that aren't congested. 
There are likely concerns about personal safety and landing on water is a lot better than concrete. Another bit of good news is that according to the creator, it's super easy to use. It only takes a minute or so to learn how to use it and you don't need a pilot's license. Score! The price hasn't been revealed yet, but there is a club you can join for $100 that will save you money off your purchase later. And not just a little, a whole $2,000. If they're willing to give you two grand off, that probably means it's going to be really expensive. So you better start saving now. Revolt 1 A man named Glauco Tortorito was just like us. He had the dream of being able to fly one day. The only difference between you and me is he actually made it happen. This personal aircraft called the Revolt 1 can travel around 40 miles per hour by combining aspects of a paraglider with powered flight. So if you don't have a lot of space to work with, there's no need to worry. It only takes a few dozen feet to both take off and land. It's no flying car, it's much smaller and designed just to make you fly. Another cool thing about it is that it doesn't run on fuel, so no need to gas up every hour while you're soaring in the air. It uses battery power to run, so all you'll have to do is recharge and go. You're even able to download an app on your phone to control certain aspects of the machine, including the power and responsiveness. Mr. Tortorito hopes that the Revolt 1 will be the future of transportation, and he's off to a pretty good start. If you want to start the future off right, you can buy one now. It's retailing for around $5,600. The VR Hypersuit The next item on our list is for the people who are afraid of getting hurt. There's no judgment here. It only makes sense to try and be safe while these new technologies are being improved. What this machine does is give you the ability to fly without ever leaving the ground. Let us explain. The Hypersuit is an exoskeleton that you lie down on from the comfort of your own home. It's a virtual reality device that allows users to feel as though they're floating and flying through virtual worlds and outer space. Hey, no other machine on this list will let you go to space, that's for sure. The creators say that the arms on the machine are designed to mimic every human gesture accurately. So that means whatever you do in real life happens while flying too. If you're a beginner with flying machines, this could be a relatively safe way to start before taking off. In fact, the creators tend to think that the hypersuit has military uses as well. It will be able to train soldiers for the day when flying suits are a regular part of combat. And it sounds like we're not that far away from that. Parajet Skycar This flying machine is a middle ground purchase for somebody who maybe can't afford the super high tech creations, but doesn't want to just hover above the water either. The Parajet Skycar is made by a company based in England that's super passionate about flying. The vehicle uses paramotoring, which is powered paragliding using ultralight aircrafts. A small gas-powered engine propels you through the air while you fly under a paraglider wing. The fuel can last for up to three and a half hours, which means you can fly around the country if you want. You can also fold it up and store it away inside most cars. What's awesome about the Parajet Skycar is that there are no age restrictions, young or old. The training schools won't take students under 14 years old, but you can still learn to fly outside of school. It does take a bit of physical activity to work, however, so you've got to be in shape to use this one. You also don't need a pilot's license, so if you can afford it, it's game on. All you really need is a helmet, some earplugs, and a backup parachute to wear. When you're thousands of feet in the air, you've got to stay safe. Jetman Imagine not only being able to fly a machine, but actually being part of it. That's exactly what a Swiss pilot nicknamed Jetman did when he created a wing-powered strap-on suit. He has been able to use the suit for a few daring flights, including flying it over the Alps in 2008. Of all the flying machines on the list, we think this one looks the most cool. Which do you think is the coolest? This suit is powered by four jet engines that make you soar in the air like you're a shooting star. And the speed? 186 miles per hour. That's way faster than any regular car can go. This machine isn't for sale as of now and is likely too complicated for the average person to control. Plus, you would have to worry about a lot of other issues, like safely landing. The wingspan of the suit is about 7.8 feet, so if you ever get the chance to use the jet suit, you'll look like a giant eagle in the sky. The difference between you and an eagle, though, is that you will have a $100,000 piece of equipment strapped to your back. The Volocopter The last machine on our list is cool for a totally different reason. It can go over 6,500 feet into the sky. The Volocopter is definitely one of the more dangerous selections on our list, meaning only the bravest pilots can operate it. Would you be scared or would you be up to the challenge? If you can see it that high in the air, the machine kind of looks like a giant drone with a person in the middle. And another awesome feature is it has 18 separate rotors that make it go. The only downside that we can see is that it only has enough juice to run for 20 minutes. So you have to make your time in the sky count. Once battery technology catches up to flight technology, we'll have the ultimate flying machine. 
this cool German vehicle is trying to be a personal helicopter without complicated controls. That way, almost anybody can use it. That is, if you have the guts. And if you have the money. The worst news about this invention is it will run you about $300,000. So if you want to cruise around the sky like a cool daredevil, you're going to have to pay a lot. This video has officially landed. Thanks for flying with us today at The Hub. And be sure and watch more of our videos. So until next time, we'll see you in the skies.